Hello everyone, my name is Travis, and thank you for joining me again on Absalov End of Gods. Let's see if I can find the scares. What is my objective? Return with the key to using marked elevator B1. Okay, I gotta find B1 then, right? Wherever the hell that might, might be. Marked elevator B1. Marked elevator B1. I don't think that's an elevator, and I don't think that's B1. Is it possible that I went in the wrong direction? Is it possible that I may have gone the wrong way? Ah, I can't do that. Okay, I need to find B1. I don't know where that's at, but I'm going to find it eventually. Okay, that freak is right there. Alright, so B1. Could it possibly be... Oh, there's an audio log underneath me. I gotta, um, get him out of the way. Oh! Oh! He has something on his hand. He's got an RFID. I see it. Is there a way for me to combat him? Is he gonna see me? Do I have to, like, wait for him to get real close? You son of a bitch! Yeah, watch, he's gonna turn around. No, he's not, he's not gonna turn around. Oh, fucking damn it. Here we go again with this chasing bullshit. Look, I know I'm faster than you. Why would you even try at this point? Calm down, you fucking psycho. Jesus Christ. Okay, there he is. I just need to wait for him. Him. It. I don't know. I don't know which one it is. I don't know if it's a he, a her, or a, you know, anywhere from left to right. Oh, fuck! Thank oh, fuck. No, 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 no. Okay, well, I died doing that. <laughs> okay, well, that sucks. I would have, I thought that I'd be able to, you know, get that out of him. Oh, did I? Did I? Because now that I'm alive again, did I die? No, I actually got... The whale isn't online. I may have used up my last revive, huh? Is that what that's supposed to mean? Looks like he's trying to hunt... Yeah, 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 yeah. I, th I think that was my last... My last revive that I used there. That's unfortunate. I didn't know there was a live system in this. Can I just jump? Can I go? No. Oh, okay. I have to find them now. Oh, oh god, no. Is this what's going to happen every time I die? Are they going to progressively get, like, further and further away from me? Fucking kill me, okay? Yep. Fucking kill me. That's it. Go ahead. Fucking kill me. Do your thing. Son of a bitch. That would have been a good plan, too. That would have been a good plan, too, if that fucking revive mechanic wasn't such a fucking stingy bastard. Son of a bitch. I'm gonna try it again, though. I went through a lot of shit to get back here. I, uh... Yeah. Oh, fuck! Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Holy fucking Christ. What the fuck? God, get off my case, you son of a bitch. I'm busy. So busy, actually. In fact, I'm the busiest. Leave me alone. Spare me the details. Say no more. You're a bitch. Marked B1. Is this an elevator that I could possibly... I don't understand. I don't know what they want from me. Okay, I got his symbol this time. Fuck yeah. Oh my god. You have no idea how angering of an experience that was for me. I went through this shit like three times. I just need to make sure that he does not see me. 
and we'll be juicy. Nope! Fucking shit! He's right behind me. I know. I can tell. These things, they're so easy. Oh yeah, you still coming? Okay, do me dirty then. One. The second one is relatively easy to find. It's on the outskirts somewhere. And it's right here. Unless he teleports in front of me, I think I'll be fine. Honestly, that's the only thing he can do. Yeah, there we go. See, the respawn system is getting harder and harder, and I don't know why that is, but it is. Uh, anyway, it helped me get this RFID, which I don't even know if I'm supposed to have at this point in the game. Like, I don't even know if that was, like, a legit, like, valid way of getting it. Because something tells me... I may not have to be here or be... Or, or, uh, may not supposed to be here anyway. Yeah, I'm definitely not supposed to be here. Unless this was literally just for this. Like, this, this... Hmm. I'm struggling to come up with an explanation for it. Maybe I was supposed to get it. Maybe that is the only way to get it. But either way, I need to find elevator B1. That's what this whole task was about. That's why I... Fuck you, you're not doing this to me again. You can't do me dirty twice. Okay, well... This is the... Oh god, it was right here. Son of a bitch. Okay. Well, anyway, at least we found it, right? Oh, holy shit! What the fuck? It was standing right there? Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna need a sandwich after that one, because that made me hungry. That scared the hunger right into me. Holy shit. Good God almighty. Don't do that to me again, please. Yeah, thank you. I could definitely use a save point. I thought I heard a dog barking. It may have been my, my dog. But uh, I'm not taking any chances with that. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be fair with you. I'm gonna be 100% serious and honest about my opinions about that particular double-headed dog. Oh, it's so gross. I love dogs, but not that one. Uh huh. Okay, I see you. I see you. All right. As long as I keep solid and even grasp. Oh yeah, I love those kids. Do do you have it? Oh magnificent! Praise be Odin and all of his sons. Oh, you've done well. I almost died. And but I... you didn't. And now you've taken the first step in my plan to save this world of ours. I have full fun and plans. Yes, but now now there is much I have to show you. And, and time is of the essence. At the end of the hallway is a room. The key code is 3425. I'll direct you once you've entered the room. Please, leave questions for afterwards. Now go, 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 go. Questions? Where do I even begin? Okay, thank you for giving me that hint. I, I... Honestly, I probably would have forgotten the number. I was actually doubting my knowledge of it at the time <laughs> when it came up. Dr. Lisa Svensson, Supervisor, Day 12 of Tablet Analysis. Dr. Anderson brought an artifact holding an engraved sphere in some form of magnetic energy field. The text delivered with the sphere suggests that it's a soul stone, something meant to replicate and store the soul of any higher being. There are accounts of time anomalies and split realities, but they are impossible to read at the time. So does that mean we are a higher reality? I mean, it kind of goes hand in hand with them freaking out over what I look like, so on and so forth. So I'm just kind of curious 
who I would be, who my character would be. See, this looks almost exactly like the table that I woke up on. And that looks exactly like the machine, minus the disgusting, you know, robot face above it. So are we, like, a goddess reanimated, brought back to life? It's kind of curious, isn't it? Although, I wouldn't have any idea. My god, for me it says 20 minutes recording, but you guys are only going to see, like, half, half of that, maybe. For god's sake, dude, I wasted so much time trying to get that RFID. Okay, what was it again? Three, four, two, five. There we go, okay. Alright, let's get going. Let's make some progress. This clears a lot of things up for us. Like what? Thank you for bringing the key back. You're, mm. you're welcome. And thank you for fixing my arm. Yeah. I assume you have no memories of your past, and I bet you're wondering who you are. Well, so am I. But I'm locked out of the facility's main database at the moment, so if we make a quick detour, then- Henrik! Thousands are dying every minute, and you're talking about detours? We need to know, Sarah. I need to know what happened to her. Don't put the girl through any more than she has to, Henrik. Don't make her do this. <sighs> we, we have to figure this out. The emergency system severed the connection between most of the systems and the base. You need to go to the medical research facility and approve a remote link to grant me access to the information we need. I would do it myself, but I'm not strong enough. I'll show you everything you need to know on the way. Okay, fair enough. I mean, if you guide me, I'll do it. You give me the instructions, I will do it. What the fuck was that? My god, everything is making me jump right now. I'm, I'm not even fucking, like, intent- this, this isn't fake. This is like- Dude, I'm so fucking jumpy right- This game makes me jumpy. Is it gonna be this one? I said in an earlier episode that- An earlier episode that, uh, There's going to be a ladder sequence, and there's going to be a scare involving a ladder. Could've been this one. Could've been. Ooh. Thank you. Appreciate that. Love that. Most things in the facility are always handled with extreme caution, while some... <sighs> just aren't. We're hundreds of meters below the surface in northern Sweden. If something happens, it could be hours before help arrives. Above that, some of the artifacts clearly emit energy fields that could be a potential long-term health risk. The statue in the center of the facility has hundreds of people walking by it all day. Not to mention the gigantic hammer that was carelessly placed in a room where serious scientists, including myself, are working unprotected right next to it. My PDA tablet was low on battery this morning, so when I got back to my quarters, the battery was almost full. This just weird. can't be right. Oh, maybe it's not reanimating people, but rather reanimating electronics. That would make sense as to why they're great spirit. No, then why the hell is there a two-headed demon dog that looks like it came straight out of agony? I haven't played that game and I don't intend to. I tried it, it was insanely disgusting, and I want nothing to do with that game for anything, for any reason whatsoever. But if you have played that game and you are familiar with it, there is a new game called Succubus coming out, which is a spin-off sequel or whatever. I'm just letting you know, maybe you're interested. I am not. That game wasn't really, like, mentally scarring or anything for me personally. For some people, it definitely will be, and it's it's an awful, horrible game. And, uh, blasphemous, I'll say that much. <laughs> to, to be, to be polite about it, that game is blasphemous. But, um, yeah. Not, not, the, not a game for this channel. Not a game that I can, uh, show or ever will want to show. Because I just saw one thing in it. There was one thing in particular. I'm not going to say what it was. I am just going to say that it was so disgusting that I just couldn't... You know, it's kind of a scary game too, but... It was so disgusting that I just... Couldn't bring myself to continue playing after that point. Because of how disgusting it was. Okay. We're back in the saddle. 
Dude, soon enough, we're gonna have a full arm full of those things, man. We just got another, we just got another two. Okay, what is, what is with these one, two, three, two? So if there's four, then it'll be, it'll be four, it'll be 12. I mean, I don't understand why they're labeled every four. Or at the first of every sequence of four. In the floor ahead of you, there's a battery. In case of a facility-wide power failure, they can be charged to power equipment in smaller areas. Young Graper has the ability to remotely charge these batteries with large and small bursts. When you're done with it, you can just take the energy right back like any power station. This will make the energy go dark. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Unlock the door for me. Appreciate that. Give it all back. Hmm. That thing stopping <gasps> your path is a wraith. A ghost of a Yotun giant. It's time to show you the weapon in Yalgraper. Ooh, I actually the get a weapon? Level, right before it overloads, is used to destroy evil magic. But be wary. Different creatures will react differently with the power, so be careful when using it. Use the large anything bird to destroy the Yotun Wraith that stops your path. Oh, I can charge it and then use it to blast fools? Oh, that's so tight! You should have told me this earlier. I would have used it to kill all manner of things that got in my way, simply for getting in my way and for no other reason than my petty desire to kill everything in sight. How much is this gonna take? Four. Okay, no, it takes five. I understand. Okay, because normally it would just like attract the attention of the fools that I was aiming my 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 uh, yarn graper at, but uh, yeah, not so much this time, is it? Okay, well, uh, the promise of secrets holds very holds very strong in my heart, so I need to go up here and figure that out. Okay, no secrets, but I got more of those portable charge thingies. Let's go down and destroy this bad boy. Is it is it really a wraith? Oh yeah, I guess it is quite spectral, isn't it? No, that's not what I wanted. Sent you right back to hell, bitch! Now I gotta go recharge again. No point in using up those uh, portable charges. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh. Mm. I get you. Okay, so it recharges itself. Okay, I was worried for a second. I was like, wait, is that not unlimited? I suppose that it is. But anyway, it's almost time to end the episode. Don't forget that while you're charging the arm, you can cancel the charge at any time to avoid overloading it. Oh, cool. Okay. Just had to test that for a second while I had access to it. Why'd it go quiet? It is very quiet all of a sudden. By the gods. I see that ahead of you, there's a whole lot of vermin. The myth describes them as trolls. We accidentally brought them back from Midgard on an expedition to retrieve a mythical harp from a magical creature which we destroyed. Back then, they were blind. But when they started spreading here, they, uh, they evolved. And now, they aren't blind anymore. Mm. And they're aggressive and fast. Always be ready for the large pulse of Jan Graper. Before I jump into that nightmare, I'm gonna try it on at least one. Uh, and then I'm gonna fuck off and never come back to this place again because. That is truly frightening.
Are those the trolls that you're talking about? Those guys aren't that big of a deal. One ran by me earlier. Didn't do a damn thing. Okay. I really do need to end the episode, but at the same time, I'm like, uh... I'm kind of, uh... enthralled with what's going on, I guess. To put it lightly. Don't fuck with me. I will blast you back to fucking... What, what, what do they call it? Asgard? Mid, Midgard? No, we're, we're in Midgard, right? Okay. Just making sure all my avenues are clear. <coughs> Fuck, I didn't get him. That's kind of BS shit. What the fuck? Look, judgment time has come. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna end the episode there, but thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you sticking with me through this. If you enjoyed the video, then please like, comment down below to tell me what you think, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date, share the video to spread the good word and help the channel grow, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, friends.